Oh, Miles, the guy needs to be free right now because imagine the information he could get to us if, if he wasn't being held uh, captive the way he is right now by, by my mm -hmm. government. Here's, I agree with everything he said, and it lines up with a lot of, you know, the, the thoughts that I've had. This is the one mistake the CCP made, though. It was their timing. They were one generation too early with the way they did this. Because everybody, and including the CCP, gauges America's strength based off the data on our military statistics. But the thing is, is a, a large portion, the majority of our military, retires by their late 30s, early 40s. And then they go and pick up second careers, law enforcement, firefighters, doctors, etc. But they're still combat-able and combat-trained people who are now designated like as you. civilians. Like myself. You yes, know, in thank the, God. <laughs> in, in the millions. And and that's the one variable that they didn't account for. We don't want to go there, but that's the to me at the at the very end of this, you know, when people say, you know, you when you know what hits the fan, that's the one thing that's that's gonna save this country. But if people can recognize early, you know, that this is unrestricted warfare, that this is psychological warfare, and we can get you know, all our respective countries to recognize that, we can actually rug pull the CCP's plan to do all these things. But it has to start with the exposure of information. And, you know, it shows like your, yours, mine, and so many are how we accomplish that.